Welcome back, welcome back. Our statement today reads, you probably did problem 12.4 from the point of view of an observer on the ground. Now do it from the point of view of the police car, the outlaws, and the bullet. That is, fill in the gaps in the following table. Where to the right in the uh, first row, we have the speed of the ground, police, outlaws, bullets, and do they escape? Relative to the ground, police, outlaws, bullets. How to read this is, what is the speed of the ground relative to the ground? Well, that should be zero. Makes sense. So now we have to fill in everything else. Um, what we need to know primarily is the Einstein's velocity addition rule, which is VAC is equal to VAB plus VBC over one plus this factor here. Um, pretty simple, I would say, but let's dive in because it's really curious. All right, so our solution, well, what we need to do is find what is the bullet relative to the ground. So V bullet relative to ground, knowing that one half uh, is the speed of the bullet, one third is the speed relative to the ground. And then we just multiply these through, then we get five uh, over seven C. So the outlaw is relative to the police. We use the Einstein's uh, velocity rule again. And we have to be careful because um, the relatives are not in the same direction, so we get a minus. And then naturally the bullet relative to the outlaws. Again, be careful with the signage. Uh, when we do this, uh, we can see that we're kind of filling in the table, but we need to note here that the velocity of A relative to B is minus the velocity of B relative to A, i.e. we could flip the um, the coordinates of this table, the or not the order, but the um, values, we can symmetrically uh, transpose them, but with the negative sign. So all entries below the diagonal are an opposite sign, in all but in all cases, the velocity of the bullet is less than the velocity of the outlaws. So no matter how you look at it, the bad guys get away. Now, this was a really fun uh, thing to compile because it makes us take into account the referencing of everything to one another. The ground to the ground, the police to the police, the outlaw to the outlaw, and the bullet to the bullet. Of course, they should all be zero because uh, the bullet relative to the bullet, all you have is the same velocity over the same thing. So, of course, it should be zero. Um, that being said, we just got to be careful with the signages, like I said. But in all cases, the fact that we need to compare the bullet to the outlaws relative, and we see that we still get less than, well, those outlaws are lucky today. Um, that being said, we'll definitely see more of these type of things later, so we'll catch you on the next one.